If you don't already own a right angle square, I suggest you get one. This is one of the most useful tools you'll ever have in your toolbox. I'm going to show you how it works. First thing we want to do is look at this right here. This is your pivot point and it even says pivot and has an arrow. That means that this is the side that pivots all the time. You never pivot the other side. So once you establish this, that this is your pivot point, you set that side up against your workpiece. Now this is a way to keep it simple and I like things to, to stay simple. I'm a visual type person. You look at this and I think of this as zero. But if I start off with this at zero, okay, and I turn this side, then I'm going to get my degrees of angle and I won't get confused. Okay, starting off with this as zero, you look at this other side. This has degrees from, from one all the way up to 90. Okay, that means that whatever this side is pulled to on the workpiece, it's going to give you the angle you want on this side. So, this is going to be a 90 degree angle or just keep in mind zero. If I want five degrees, I pull this over five degrees and there's a little five right here. This side I mark, that's my five degree angle. If I pull this over to 10 degrees right here, this is 10 and so on. If I want it at 30 degrees, I make sure I keep that pivot point in the same spot, line the 30 right up on the edge and that's 30 degrees. Now, you want to check yourself, it's very simple. I'm going to put this at 45 degrees, mark my line, and when I flip this over, my 45 degree angle is going to line up perfectly. That's when you know you're doing it correctly. The right angle square can also be used as a guide when making straight cuts or even miter cuts. I can take my saw, put it on whatever angle I need, in this case a 45 degree angle, and now I just mark my line where I want to make my cut, okay, and then I'm going to take my saw and line my blade up with that line and now I have a guide right here that's going to keep me perfectly straight so I can make a good clean cut on a miter and match two pieces of wood like this very easily. I'm just going to take and mark a line. Now I'm going to line my saw blade up to match this line. On this Makita saw I have a little groove that tells me exactly where my blade is going to go. This is awesome. Okay, now I have a perfect miter. Watch how fast it is and smooth it is making a straight cut with this. There's my cut. Now that that block is cut, you can see how well the miter joint is. That's it for now, but don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot more information to cover.